Hey everyone, it's Jackson with People Loving Nashville again, and I hope you're all staying hopeful and that you have some good community to lean on throughout this uncertain time. For the past 11 years, PLN as we call it, has been meeting some of Nashville's most vulnerable residents every Monday night, many of whom are experiencing homelessness. We're blessed to be able to provide great food, clothing, and other physical needs in addition to being a godly community that they can lean on. It's an honor to be able to share another glimpse into our Monday nights, and I hope you're able to take some time to listen to these stories and pray for our friends. There's a lot of hurt and a lot of need in our city, and I think it's so special that we get to bring some of God's light into those dark situations. Each week is different, and sometimes a friend will tell me a specific prayer request, but sometimes it's a piece of their life story or a little nugget of wisdom. We've always said that for someone to survive on the streets, they're clearly a pretty incredible person. It takes a lot of resolve and industriousness to do what they do every day. In addition to more common needs, the virus seems to be affecting a lot of our friends' plans to get paperwork and housing sorted out due to facilities and services being shut down for the time being. Now, you're going to hear some pretty heavy stuff for the next several minutes, so please know that it's totally okay to pause it and come back to it later. I hope you take this opportunity to pray and intercede for these folks. As always, you can head to peoplelovingnashville.com to learn more and donate, whether it be clothes or food or finances. Last thing, you may notice my voice or others being a little muffled, and that's mostly due to the masks some of us are wearing. Hey, we're taking some prayer requests. Is there anything we can be praying for for you this week? I can see my mom again. See your mom again? She's in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, okay. And like the corona like just murdered everything up there. Everything shut down. Yeah. She's fifty seven, so she's afraid to go out anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So I pray that I can see her again and that she's alright. Yeah. I see her name's you. Kathy. Her name's Kathy. And what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin and Kathy. Yeah. Big it's gonna thing. sound weird, but it's probably not the time to say it. Me and him they are fourteen years. We can have a baby. Yeah. Family can have a baby. On track. Yeah. We haven't been able to. It doesn't work. Okay. I love to have it. Like, we had everything. He worked at Walmart for five years. I was a housekeeper. I cooked. He cooked. Like, in restaurants. Um, he had a car in his name. His mom died. Everything went downhill. He lost his job. We lost the car. So we're like, we're just going to leave. Let's go travel. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea, because here we are. I'm just hoping to get, like, another place with him, our puppy dogs, yeah. our new puppy dog. Mm-hmm. Just hopefully we have a child, and if not, hopefully we can adopt him. Yeah. I'll adopt a child. Would you like some bad verses for the week? Please. I got you. Thank you so much. You bet. Hey, is there anything we can be praying for you about? For me to get um, reunited back with my uh, kids. Going better. Better week? Yeah. Okay. How are you? Like some bubbles? No, I'm fine. I'm hey, we good. read them together. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we do it all the time. You know, we really do appreciate you guys coming here and taking the time to do what you do. Because a lot of people won't. You know, they just don't care. They, they feel like everybody that's home up out here chooses to be out here. Or they were out here because of drug addicts or drunks or something. And it's not true. Circumstances put a lot of people out here on the street. It's just not knowing, not being stable, not having somewhere to stay, not, you know, my own place or whatever. It just, it just gets old. Yeah. Anything I can be praying for you about? Always my children. Always the children. That's right. They're in Kentucky, Kentucky and Indiana. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Pray don't catch that virus. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Great. You're great? Yeah. Love it. I'm blessed every day. Yes, sir. Especially at my age. <laughs> When I can wake up in the morning, I'm blessed. Mm. And if I told you October 24th, 1952, I'll be 68 years old and you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> well, let's just pray uh, that we get to see each other next week. Yeah. And uh, God, God will us keep us alive. I love it, brother. All, All right. right. Love you, That's too. Really too. They, they keep me in your prayer. Just keep you in your prayer? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Randy. Anything specific or would you rather not say? It's yeah, you're right. They closed my job down Thursday, so 
I'm sleeping okay. in the park right now. Okay. Do y'all have any sleeping bags to take tonight? I like your mask. I do too. <laughs> You learn and walk away from the negative and just keep it positive, yeah. you know? Because it's something like, Michael. I know when it's coming, I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I done turned and walked away from so many people, so I'm like, uh, are you uh, trying to get me to to downgrade myself to your level? Like, hold on, I don't feel like that, and uh, we shouldn't even be at this level. We shouldn't be having a conversation like that. Let's speak about the Lord, you know, speak about the not about what you want to do, hurting, violence. Yeah. That's the way I am. The last words were. <laughs> Me and my three kids. Okay. Are they with you? No, my eight-year-old son's in danger. My 22-year-old son is in San Diego, California, and my 25-year-old daughter's in danger back home in Florida. For you, brother? Uh, yeah, you you prayed for my daughter Cowboy last time. That's right, that's right. Nora. Nora. So yeah. We just keep praying for Yeah, you were sitting up there, right? Yes, sir. Right there, right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was over there. I did recognize you with the mask. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you have it on, though. I appreciate you praying for her. And, uh, I, I, you know, I've been trying to see her, but the, uh, <clears throat> I went to juvenile court, and um, I just I had filed it wrong, so now I have to file it a different way, but they're closed. Yeah. So it's just taking time, but it's almost been a year since I've seen her, so I'm, I'm trying to get on my feet and everything, so I'm just praying for that. Okay. Absolutely. Anything with, with you that we can be praying into? Just, uh, just pray for me to be, you know, get through this so I can be able to, to um, be a good father for my daughter. You know? yeah. It's beautiful. And what's your name again? Zach Bush. Zach, okay. Zach, in Jesus' name, man. In Jesus' name. All that paperwork gets worked out. You guys are able to see each other. And just like I was saying with Heather, you know, with the right circumstances, everything just goes smoothly. Yeah. I don't know when, but just praying that, you know, the spiritual barriers that are up just at the right time, start yeah. to come down. Absolutely. And I know you're preparing yourself, too. Yeah. You know, that's, that's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks for everything you guys do. Dude, hey, we love y'all. Appreciate yeah. it. And I was assaulted five or six days ago from Jefferson Street Bridge. A woman assaulted me. Two weeks ago, I had a gun flash on me. And I'm still here talking to you. And I'm very humble. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of going through a lot of hurt. And I'm trying not to cry, but... <sighs> If it wasn't for him, first they acted like they were I don't know where all these people were. They were like, they were like, no, they was like, uh, they was like, well, keep up the good. They said, my family, my they family, said, my they family to do that to me. Like well, this was a special. And it's unmanageable. Well, because we were Christians, we grew up Christians, you know, you know. So I don't know what happened to the Christianity, but. So I've been through a lot, yeah. and my parents are deceased. This was around like 2000. I was put in cuffs on the day that my dad died. On I'm a walking testimony. And, and so I told him about it. So my brother is too, but for him to be so evil towards his own sister, I've been through sexual abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, and physical abuse too. As well. I love you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Jackson. Yeah. That means a lot. Can I get a hug? I can't. Yeah. I can fist bump you. Yeah. I wish I could hug you. I'm just going to be walking by faith. Yeah. And praise the glory of God. The glory and the power of God. Worst thing my habit is is cigarettes. Yeah. But the Lord will take that away from me when when I, when I he does it. Yeah. I know right from wrong. But I had a, I had, I had, I had some demons do their best try to possess me. Mm -hmm. Here a few minutes ago, I just recently coming out of that stage. Really? Yes. Just a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago. Praise God, man. Yes, sir. I pray there's a hedge of protection. They're not, they're not welcome near you anymore. Exactly. They're not meant to reside in you. It's so there's a word God is so powerful, man. It's unreal. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, oh my goodness, yeah. wow. I was pronounced disabled at 11 years old. And I'm sitting at 32 now. And I am 100% sure that God is in my heart. Still today, 
when I, as I got baptized, when I was baptized in Eagleville Baptist Church. See, that, this is deep. Yeah. Coronavirus. I didn't have a plan for this. Yeah. It messed me up. Well, I used to hang around the library and volunteer when I was in the veterans program at the. Uh, I'd go volunteer and do stuff, hand out food, clothes, sure. like y'all are doing and stuff, yeah. you know. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I took care of them. I did their taxes for them. Yeah, sure. Helping people get their license at, or their uh, ID at the Snod Grants down here and stuff. Did I already ask you if you have any prayer requests we can be praying for you? Man, I broke my collarbone about, it's been a little over two months. I can't even get a be operated on, man. I broke it three different places and five of my ribs. You pray for me for that, bro. Yeah, praying for healing. Yeah. For maybe surgery if you need it. Yeah. Okay. And I can't get in because I ain't got no insurance, and I got a call. <coughs> I done been in five different hospitals. They told me I had to uh, get in the car, a call, and I seen the doctor. They said they would operate on me, so if I got to call this number and make an appointment before they even do it. This virus been going on. I'm kind of scared because there's so many people in the hospital right now with the virus. Yeah. They ain't taking nobody. This high like a little more, man. When did this happen? Uh huh. When did it happen? About two months ago. Okay. I was going off of Fifth Street where Church Street is. Yeah. Car coming this way. I had the green light. He run the red light. Missed me from my view. I went straight by him. And it was pouring down raining. And somehow I, I just started slapping. I fell down and slid. I slid from here from that pole on my shoulder. How can we be praying for you? Well, my daughter Kelly's in rehab, and uh, Johnny's been working hard, and uh, hey, I can't. they just want their I, family back ahead. together, and I pray that they get back together. And I miss my little daughter Christy up in New York State. Yeah. Pray for my children and my yeah, grandchildren, okay? okay. And, my son-in-law, Johnny Smart, okay? Yeah. And pray for her because she needs it right now. She just got beat up by a man. Okay. Wow. Look at her face. Well, yeah. They were swallowed shut. They're getting bad at her. Yeah, well, you still look beautiful. No, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And your name? Diana. Diana. Okay. I got wet. I got wet last night, man. I did, uh, I got off streets. I got disability, but I haven't got my first check yet. Okay. Once I get that, I'm off streets. Okay. I got it. I just have it, haven't received my first check yet. Okay. So it might be up to, they said up to a year, but I get the 15000 back pay. I'm looking forward to that. Go get me off streets. If I make it till then. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the rain. Guys. Yeah. We're not to be bouncing. Hey, on, hey oh, take care, guys. Love, love, love you. Love you, love you. Thanks again for taking the time to listen and pray for our friends downtown. This prayer request thing is continuing to evolve, and in the coming weeks, we'll be hearing directly from some other volunteers and organizers with PLN. As always, you can head to peoplelovingnashville.com for more information, and I hope you just have a blessed week.